road trip from Texas to my Texas to Florida, Austin, Texas to Miami, Florida starts now. Started with me picking up a salted caramel cold brew from Dunkin', and then I went into H E B to get because this is a video where I'm gonna show you everything I eat on my road trip. I gotta hurry though. I gotta hurry. I gotta go pick up Henry. Um, a thing of mangoes. So I was I picked up the smaller mangoes, which was five six dollars, and then I saw the big one, which is double the ounces, and they were fifty percent off today. So I got more mangoes for the same price of the small ones. So um, I figured I should eat some fruit today. So this is what we're starting off with. I'm in Austin, Texas right now. I'm driving to Houston, Texas, which is three hours away, to pick up Henry, and then we're gonna finish off the rest of the road trip together. So here we go. And the point of this road trip is taking my car, Miss Pearl, from Austin to Miami. I've been living in Miami without Pearl for two years now, but it's time for me to have her. So let's get going on this little silly ass adventure. The time is like 11.15 a.m. This is actually my third Bucky stop, but I had to, the first two were bathroom stops and we got a special guest. Henry Putang Tang Wang finally arrived in Texas. We are in Houston, Texas. He has never been to Bucky's. This is his first Bucky's experience. Yeah. Do you have any expectations? What are you hoping for? I'm hoping what, to get diabetes <laughs> in the next 30 minutes. What do you, oh. Pearl, this is Pearl's first meal as well. He has no idea what to expect. I try to give him a rundown, but first thoughts, because he's like, I feel like we're going into a Walmart slash Sam's Club. He's tripping out on how many pumps there are. Um, so Techie, uh, Techies, <laughs> Bucky's originated in Texas, but they have expanded. It's still always gonna be a Texas thing to me, but they are up and down the highways. Like there's some in Alabama, some in Florida too, but like the, like you have to go when you're in Texas. So let's go Bucky's. Stop. He's got Bucky. All right. He's about to walk in for the very first time. About to get kicked out for the very first time. <laughs> but you just, like, as you walk in, you'll see all the kinds of crazy shit that they sell. Pool noodles. Tubes. You need a smoker? All right. Came for gas. Welcome to smoker. Oh my god. It's his first time here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, they have everything. Everything. Blueberry. <laughs> All right. Have fun. We got our first Bucky's haul. This is Henry's first time. I was not prepared for what I just experienced. Beaver nuggets, cinnamon sweet. Beaver chips. Show them. With the signature grease stains. Show them what the chips look like. Oh, I'm gonna show them. Listen to this. Listen to the crunch. Um, cantaloupe. A chopped brisket sandwich. Six pack of chocolate chip cookies. A BBC burrito. <laughs> look at this thing. What's a BBC? Dano spicy seasoning. Yep. Two things of nuts, glazed pecans, and almonds. Sour gummy bears. A, a random burrito. I think it's the brisket, the uh, brisket and egg taco. I and think that's everything. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Breakfast biscuit. That's everything in your bag. That is everything in my bag. And then a Texas cheesesteak burrito. That is our Bucky's haul. And we yeah. got two gallons of water. And he drank. And I see as he was walking around, and he ate beaver tots before we even left the store. Yeah, two <laughs> cups of tater tots and some baby wipes. <laughs> Ready for the road. Ready for the road! All right, so bacon, egg, and cheese, biscuit. I always do the wrong thing. <laughs> Why did I get a chicken burrito? I got a cheesesteak burrito. That biscuit looks buttery. Take a bite. Don't drop the egg everywhere. It's so soft and good. Mmm. <laughs> oh my it. god. Yep. 
Yep. Oh my. <laughs> I'm going back inside. Where are the napkins? <laughs> I got the wrong thing. No, we can share this. I still got a whole ass burrito to eat. You know damn well I want to buy the yours? Here. That I will soft, finish that. Get a fucking biscuit from Bucky's. <laughs> Cut the camera. I need pr I need private time. <laughs> what do you rate the this biscuit? is bacon, egg and cheese. They also have sausage, egg and cheese. Well, I've had my fair share of breakfast sandwiches in my life. My cardiologist can attest to that. <laughs> this right here, I'm gonna be honest, this is like <laughs> the best breakfast sandwich I've ever had. It's soft, it's buttery, it's flaky. Mm. Next up, I'm gonna get into the burrito. I've never had this burrito before. I've had the ba uh, the breakfast burrito, but this is the Texas cheesesteak burrito. Cheese, beef, peppers. They smell good. They do, they smell great. Oh, I can see the juices running. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is a juicy burrito. This is juicy. That's the flavor. It's like creamy. The flavor's there. Just nice and savory. Nice, good balance. Like, I've had cheesesteak sandwiches that are dry as fuck. Mm, no, this is... <laughs> Listen, Wawa's got to step their game up. Fuck Wawa. I used to think Wawa's had good gases. Bro! Sorry. <laughs> oh, let me so, we're going to trade burritos now because I want a bite of that. And I know you want a bite of this. So we're trading the cheesesteak and the, the sauce. chicken Look at the burrito. Look at the sauce. So the chicken Look burrito. At the, the sauce. Ooh, this you is see that? this is juicy too. It's like creamy. Oh my god. It's like probably chipotle. There's rice. I see black beans. I see corn. I see the best day of my life in this burrito. Happiness wrapped right. up in a tortilla. These burritos are juicy. The chicken is tender. It's moist. Is it right? Do you like it? This is amazing. The bur the burrito is a lot better than I expected it to be. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting gas station food to be this good. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong, again. So we are trying the Bucky's chocolate chip cookies now. All right, took a bite already. These are mad soft. Mm-hmm. You got be today. Grandma who? The cookies are at Bucky's. Look at the softness. It's so soft. The softness. We needed to make a pit stop because my eyes are super irritated. The corners of my eye, look at this. We have a medical emergency. <laughs> medical emergency. So we stopped at a CV or Walgreens to get my eyeballs fixed. Um, I think it's because I'm pretty sure like the AC blowing into my eyes is just making them really dry. It's my hot breath. It's hot breath. So my I'm here to foot stinking up the car. This is like the, the aroma coming out of this right now. <laughs> is magical. It is 3 p.m. We're about an hour and a half outside of New Orleans, but we got so much Bucky's fucking food. We're not even gonna be hungry by the time we get to New Orleans. Nope. But we are just, we're just gonna be oh, eating. Look at that. A little chopped beef. Look at beef. that. Is it chopped beef brisket sandwich? Yeah. Chopped beef brisket. Take a, CBB. Take a bite of the Sammy and pass that shit because I want to have a bite too. I also pulled out the sour gummies. Um, Dessert. Yeah, but they're gummies. Yeah, they're gummies. Yeah, they're gummies. Yeah, they're gummies. 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 They're gumm
<laughs> there she is. That's a big scoop of rab. That's a double D rab. Right right Ooh, look, like the little crawfish on top. Kevin getting the bag. I'm not even getting it. Here it is. You still, you still in that sauce. It smells so creamy and cheesy. Like a little bit of crawfish on top. Let's see. There's ricotta and spinach in it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Motherfucker. Without the sauce. With the sauce. The time is 7.10. We were in and out of New Orleans in one hour because as we were paying, I realized $220 in cash was missing from my purse and my Florida driver's license. These bitches stole it out of her purse I at the restaurant. Fucking robbed. Yeah. These fucking heifers tried to steal that shit. I'm just kidding. I thought, I dead ass thought I got robbed and so I went into a tizzy and we had to run up out of that restaurant uh, to go back to the car and sure enough, the money, the ID, everything was just sitting on the floor of the driver's seat. So here's the thing though, I believe that minor inconveniences, no matter how minor or whatever, is was preventing something else worse from happening. So that's my theory because the where that money and that ID was in that purse, like it just wasn't just like thrown about, like it was in a pocket. How were those the only two things to like fall out? I don't know. So it's a good thing we were in and out of New Orleans in an hour. We're projected to get to Orlando like 4 or 5 a.m. But anyways, that dinner was good though, right? It was amazing. It was good. Um, it was amazing. We are now drinking, what are we, what is it? Starbucks, but what is the tea? A venti honey, honey citrus mint. That. Yeah. It's to activate the bowel movements. We need warm tea. To, to purge. As you've seen, we've had quite the things to eat today. Yeah. <laughs> so, R.I.P. Our colons. Our colons. May they rest in peace. Yes. And we got nine hours to go to Orlando, and we yeah. did not plan on eating again. I'm no, we I'm not, not fucking hungry. It's just us, hot tea, and a bag of baby wipes. <laughs> All right, the time is 9 p.m. We are back in Bucky's. We're in the Alabama Bucky's. Um, we are seven away, seven hours away from Orlando. So good, it's just like a work day. So we stopped here, used the bathroom. Not hungry at all. I'm gonna find, I don't wanna do an energy drink, but like a little coffee to get me through the rest of the night. to go to get to Miami 
Um, I forgot to show you what I ate at Starbucks. This is a whole everything what I eat on a road trip and I forgot, um, but I got a hot green tea and a cheddar bacon sandwich. Green tea has caffeine apparently, so I just, I'm over the coffee. And that's it, so on the final stretch, thank you guys for joining us on this silly little road trip with Good Eats. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you, I guess the next round of videos will be my hard summer adventures in Los Angeles, so stay tuned.